Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the profile that belongs to a coach, and the name of this coach is Dan Gordon. And Dan Gordon is from L.A. in the beautiful state of California in the United States of America. Now, what happened was uh, during the week, during last week, uh, we were uh, trying to look through uh, Don's profile and we came across some of his posts and he didn't seem to be getting a lot of uh, engagement, let's say. Uh, inside his profile, because if we look here, there there are zero likes, zero comments, zero likes, zero comments, zero likes, zero comments, etc., etc., etc. So uh, you know, we had to look through some of those posts, and we thought that some of those posts, in particular, uh, Dan posted a post about uh, these ten tips, the top ten tips to making sure that you've got the right business coach. And we thought that was really, really nice, uh, really nicely researched, uh, really nicely thought out, and really nicely presented. So uh, we thought to ourselves, well, hold on, you know what? Uh, let's follow this man. Uh, let's like his posts. Let's comment his posts. Uh, let's follow him. And then let's reach out to him with the uber friendly, uh, let's call it uh, the LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Quora, Reddit, a TikTok connection message that we've been using for almost the last seven years. And uh, this was the response that we got. So this is why I'm asking, is this my first ever internet troll? Okay, so we reach out to Dan there. We send him this nice little uh, communication message. It's like nice, it's super friendly. And uh, we've got a lot of comments. Of course, there have been people that said, Hi, Paul, thank you for the message, but no thanks. There's been people that said, not for now. There's been people that, that said, uh, thanks, but you know, I don't have the time really uh, to enter into any uh, discussions or synergies or strategic discussions to see if there are any potential synergies. Because you know what we're trying to do is we're just trying to be uber friendly. We're trying to connect to people uh, that, that we think that we could, uh, if we were to put our heads together and work together, that we could come up with uh, some potential synergies. And of course, there, there's people that, that are conducive to our message, and there are people that are non-conducive to our message. And this is all part and parcel of the life that, that we know as coaching, as sales, as marketing. So Dan is a professional coach. He's a professional business coach, and he's a professional sales trainer. Uh, there, there's a picture of him uh, here. I think he's uh, trying to audition for the next role in Star Wars, and you can see him there. He's trying to summon the force. Uh, into his hands uh, through to his ultra flashy silver ring there. And uh, then this is the response there that we got. Uh, so, hi, Paul, I'm touched that you think I'm a, you know, which he is there because he's all out there. He's always talking about the results, but he just doesn't seem to be getting any views, any likes, any comments, and he seems to be posting his little brains out uh, there. God bless him. And this is what we were trying to help him with. So then it, the message took a different turning and it says, I mean, it's like you peered into our very soul. Wow, thanks. I have to say, I have to also say that, and this is why I think this is my first ever troll in 29 years of business. So I think that perhaps I'm definitely doing something right, or perhaps uh, we've hit upon Coach Dan, uh, there in huge heart quotes, uh, on a bad day. Maybe he's been having a bad day or a bad week or a bad month or a bad quarter. I don't really know. Uh, but he recognizes uh, there, us uh, in Icandor. And Candor means, it, it's an old English word uh, there, Dan, that means, uh, what is it, openness? honesty and truthfulness and being frank or being Frank Kern if you're uh, if you if you actually know who people like Frank Kern are he's one of these legendary internet marketers and uh, there he recognizes us as a scammy self -motivated. remember this is only after a, con a connection message self-motivated we're opportunistic I love some of the words and I love the the fact that he's obviously invested a lot of time thinking about all of these adjectives. We've got eight adjectives there, which represent all of the letters of Icandor, I-C-A-N-D-O-U-R. Uh, over here in Europe, we spell Candor with a U. Uh, in the United States, it would be spelled C-A-N-D-O-R uh, without the U at the end. Uh, so he recognizes us as being 
double dealing from a connection message. Uh, underhand, he hasn't checked out our profile. Cunning, devious, treacherous, perfidious. Uh, I love that word. I had to actually look that word up in the dictionary there, Dan. Unfair, disreputable, rascally. Oh, I love that one. Rascally, my daughter is definitely one of those. Uh, roguish, yes. Uh, being a rogue, being confrontational is good. Dirty. I don't think so. You know, I have a shower every day, two times a day, because at the moment we're experiencing, let's say, quite a big heat wave uh, over here in this part of Europe. Uh, unethical. Oh, immoral. Immoral. Well, uh, dishonorable. Dishonorable? To who? Unscrupulous. Unprincipled. I think there we, we've stated very clearly our values and the type of people that, that we like to help. And of course, the, the type of people that we like to help are these ambitious, entrepreneurial, fast-driven uh, business coaches. And of course, then, if that sounds like you, then let's connect. And if it doesn't, then please don't accept our connection message. <laughs> that, that, that's, that, that's quite simple there, Dan. Uh, this is the very beginning. Yeah. So, you know, you don't have to connect, but uh, there, uh, Dan accepted uh, the in-mail. Uh, perhaps Dan, as I said, was having a particularly bad day, week, month, quarter, whatever. Uh, lying. Wow. Uh, lying from that message. So in other words, I was lying when I saw it. I said those things about you. Amazing. And uh, there, what is it? Uh, untrustworthy, crooked, shady, tricky, dodgy, malfeasant. Uh, I love that one. Is that like Maleficent, you know, from the movie where there's... Uh, uh, what do you call her? The one that was mad, married to Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie. Yes. Uh, knavish. That's a nice word. Uh, hollow hearted. Wow. I don't know about hollow hearted. Deep hearted. You know, because we actually like helping people. And we do this through a combination of one or more lead magnets. We've got two uh, ebooks. Uh, there we've got the roadmap. Uh, we've got the five bulletproof strategies to create an outrageously successful course online for your coaching business. Uh, we've got the 60-day free video-based training series. And we've even got the special lead magnet where we help uh, coaches like Dan to get his message for free uh, there to the right niche or niche, as Dan would say, because he's in the United States, at the right time using the right medium, which is not necessarily LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a networking site there, Dan. It's where people, uh, Dan, come along and they sort of work out if they're going to be congruent for one another, and sometimes they're not, uh, <laughs> they're not going to be congruent. In which case, there, Dan, you don't accept their connection message. Yeah, double faced. Uh, we we say over here in Europe, we say two faced. Uh, so maybe that's a problem. But also notice there, even on your profile, there, Dan, there's a lot of these grammatical errors. I look at it up here. Wasting you life. It should be wasting your life, there, Dan. But obviously, uh, you're displaying quite a good. Uh, relationship with the English language in this response message. Truthless individual who I would never want to connect to uh, despite accepting my connection message. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, so anyway, there, wow, I I was uh, like there afterwards, I was thinking to myself, my goodness, is this actually my first troll? But then Dan goes on. So coach in huge air quotes, uh, Dan goes on to say, you should get a job at a morgue or some place like that where you cannot bother people. Can you imagine there if we were to wait for the people there to just go to their, what was it, their business directories or something like that in the 1980s? There are maybe their Rolodexes there, Dan, and they would actually look up coaches. You know, when was the last time there, Dan, that you've heard of somebody that woke up two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning and says, you know what I have to put on my to-do list in the morning? Hire a coach. Coaching is an intangible product there, Dan. You cannot go to your local Walmart or to your local convenience store and you cannot buy coaching off the shelf. You have to present it from a problem-solving fashion. My goodness. And then you have to put it out there. And the only way that you can do that in this day and age uh, when we were younger, we could do it uh, through the mediums of television, radio, newspaper. But nowadays, in the year 2023, things have moved on uh, to a digitally online, fast-paced world. And the only way that we can do this is by actually reaching out to the people 
on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Twitter X, on LinkedIn, uh, on all of these different social media sites, just to see there, for example, after checking out, after doing our homework, after researching profiles like yours and seeing, wow, this is definitely there a man uh, who's uh, clearly ambitious, knows where he wants to go, and we could help him to get there faster than he ever thought possible. But anyway, some people, obviously, as we say, cannot and don't want to be helped. They would prefer to run, let's say, what we call an expensive hobby than be seriously interested in growing and scaling their coaching business. So this is perhaps a rant. Uh, take what you want. But anyway, I did think I would share this with you because, uh, as I said, this is the first ever of such messages that we've ever received in 29 years of internet marketing experience. So we've been here there, Dan, probably longer than you have uh, been. And wow, uh, we were, let's say, we were impressed. We were impressed there by the by the descriptive powers that you can use. If you were to apply those to your LinkedIn profile, uh, we think that things would even work better and would probably move you from the zero likes, the zero comments. And remember, it's not all about likes. You cannot eat likes. You cannot buy likes. You cannot convert likes, comments, follows, or whatever into cash. The only thing that you know uh, that you can convert into uh, cash is conversions. Conversions there, Dan, that's the name of the game. And uh, you do this by following a series of systemized processes that are to enable you to get more high ticket conversions than you ever thought possible. And that's the way that it works, Dan. Okay. So anyway, uh, there, that's me on my soapbox. But anyway, thank you very, very much, Dan, for your message. It was highly, uh, let's say, we, uh, we, appreciate the time that you invested into uh, <laughs> into let's say conceptualizing this message right and i wish you the best of luck genuinely the best of luck in your uh, coaching business hobby okay the expensive hobby that you've got that you call a coaching business right then rant over thank you very very much for watching for listening thank you all the best bye for now